All right, so today we are playing around with a little bit of automation between two consoles. So right here and over here, we have our um, web broadcast console. And um, over on top of the rack over there, we've got our Pro Tools machine, which I have running a bit of Oscillator. So Oscillator is also grabbing um, Allen and Heath TCP MIDI, Let's see devices. So grab a MIDI from, to and from Allen and Heath TCP MIDI. I've created some custom routing here. I'm using my um, DLive MIDI interpretation table that I uh, spent time sort of mapping out. And I am using those to send and receive some fader values between this console and our front of house console, which is in the other room. Um, and where this becomes useful is that um, while I can do some, let's come back over here, um, some scene automation on the DLive, say for instance, I wanted to come in here and I don't know, go to my cue list and come over here and say embedded recall, select my front of house unit, and then on this scene recall, you know, you can you can automate functions on the desk, uh, moves, mix moves, whatever you need really between two surfaces. Um, what I do need, however, is this weekend I don't have an operator for the desk, so I needed more fine control for a couple of mechanisms, um, fader movements and things like that that have to happen that are really just better to be manual. So what I've done is I have mapped Oscillator via the TCP MIDI on both desks. So there's one of these running here and one of these running for front of house. Um, and you can see my iPad is connected here on uh, to front of house. And then here, if I move, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see this because of the brightness contrast difference. But um, I'm going to move audience fader and we should see my iPad start to move. There we go. I have it right here in the middle as well. All right. And then I'm going to move this lab. There we go. Uh, ULX1, bam, that's that's real tasty. Um, there's my audience stuff. I'll just give you a closer look here. Real time, and then my delay, so I can actually play those things. A little bit of lag, but uh, I can actually deal with that. I may kill the delay. Um, yeah, and then if I do it vice versa, so here I'm gonna I'm gonna move this on the iPad. Uh, we've got, so the iPad again is front of house console, so now I've got front of house console is controlling this console. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it seems to be working. I'm going to play around with it some more, but uh, very useful feature for um, those types of automations if you have to have... Uh, one point of control for multiple desks, and you don't necessarily want to have um, basically a post fader send. So the gains, the reason why I'm doing it is the gain staging on this desk is going to be different than the one out there because of the different broadcast environments. But uh, anyway, it works.